completely new to his father. Uh, under the marquee is a sign for an orchestra that was going to be there a day or two later. And uh, just look out at many more photographs, but these are some of the more mm -hmm. iconic images. Uh, As John said, this was February, uh -huh. and look how they're dressed in February yeah. in Boone. No kidding. The uh, high in February in Boone that year was in the 70s. The low was in night was 19. Well, the town didn't have time. one of the warmer days. What color my original marquee was, and underneath on the cleaning day, they found things that had blown off the front of the building and were just tossed in the crawl space. So we could oh, match That's why you got all the green that you brought on your t-shirt. Yeah, able to match the color exactly with that found piece of glass, that's, that's and the black good. one over in the other corner. Scriptural light, they actually had the colored glass to replicate it. The scriptural light's not made any longer. And uh, we have a historic preservation on the board. He's not here, so I can say if he wanted us to find vitriol light. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's some kind of crystal? Or well, it's, you can see it's, a, it's like a glass, and I'm not sure I can tell you what it is, but it's a solid like a mineral. Yeah, it's embedded in, into the glass. And what we have is essentially, it's, it's, it's not done that way, but that type of glass would have cost about five times as much. So under the glass is a brick facade that they used a mastic and it didn't hold, obviously. Okay. <laughs> it's just glue or tar or something. Yeah. Got the Doc Watson bus there. That's Doc Watson. When we did the statue in front of the, uh, on the corner of Depot and King, uh, the, the uh, sculptor made us some heads that we gave to people that made contributions, so significant contributions. But it was amazing structure to have that in Boone, the type of architecture we had. The architect was actually a protege of Frank Lloyd Wright, worked for him in Chicago, came back to his hometown in Lord, only theater he ever designed. Um, he had a very narrow lobby. It was from that wall to that wall, so you bought your ticket, bought your soda pop, and, and popcorn and went into your seat.